Hello everyone, it's Joe from OnePageZen.com and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect to a Google Cloud Platform virtual machine instance using an SSH tunnel. So the first step in this tutorial is to open Putty Key Generator and this is an application that you can download from the internet. I will include the link to that download in the description to this video. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the generate button here to generate a private and public SSH key pair. So move your cursor around the area to um, generate the key. All right, so now that the key has been generated, what we're going to do is change the username. So I'm gonna change the username to Bitnami since I'm using a uh, WordPress Bitnami stack on my virtual machine. Um, and I'm going to um, save the private key file. And I'm just going to uh, save it on the uh, on the uh, desktop. I'll click save. All right, great. Now you can see my private key has been saved here. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, public key. And I'm going to go to my Google Cloud Platform dashboard. And I'm going to go to my compute engine and to my virtual machine instances. And I'm going to click on the instance that I want to connect to. So I want to connect to WP Test VM3. So click that. And now click the edit button at the top of the page. And scroll down a bit. And in the SSH key section here, you're going to paste the public SSH key that you just copied. So paste that, scroll down, and then click the Save button at the bottom of the page. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my VM instances, and I'm going to copy my external IP address and then I'm going to minimize my Google Cloud Platform window. And now I'm going to open up my main PuTTY application. Now this is separate from the PuTTY key gen application, so be aware of that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paste my uh, IP address that I just copied in the last step. So paste that and then paste it in the save, saved sessions field as well and then click the save button. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to f configure our uh, authorization settings. So click on SSH here and then go to auth and now we have to upload our private key file so as you can see here, it's right on my desktop. So I'm going to upload that. Okay. Now the next thing I have to do is I have to configure my tunnel settings. So I'm going to use source port 8888. And destination is going to be localhost 80. Now if you are using... Uh, SSL for your instance, if you use one of my SSL tutorials and uh, your site is being served with SSL, you should use port 443 instead of port 80. But if you don't have SSL configured, just use uh, port 80 as shown here. And then click the add button. All right. Now the next thing we have to configure is our data settings. So under the connection section, click on data. And for username, I'm going to enter Bitnami. 
And then I'm going to go back to my session settings here. And I'm going to highlight the saved session. I'm going to click the Save button. And finally, I am going to uh, click on Open to open the SSH tunnel. And click on Yes. All right, now you see here we are connected to our instance. So the last thing we're going to do here is we are going to uh, connect to our PHP my admin using the SSH tunnel that we just established. So I'm going to open a new private browsing window and I'm going to paste the following command here. Now this is the command to open PHP my admin. Now if you're using uh, SSL on your site, so if your site is being served with HTTPS, then you will also need to put the HTTPS here when accessing PHP My Admin. But for the site I'm using in this example, it does not have SSL configured. So I'm going to press enter. And there you go. You can uh, now log in to your PHP My Admin uh, using the SSH tunnel. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you got lost at any point in this tutorial, make sure to check out the version at onepagezen.com where I have each step listed individually uh, with their commands. Thanks a lot for watching.